Hi everyone. So I've heard the new terrorist threat, food sharpening. The UN is now spreading the word on lack of food, and I'm thinking, okay. Then I look back at the history of developed countries that have heavily protected their market against third world cheaper agricultural products. Canada, the US, Japan, Australia, and most of all Europe have by all means tried to avoid their countries from importing food from developing countries. They have imposed unjustified sanitary barriers, import quotas, heavy taxation, and have given abundant subsides to their farmers. Ironically, along with the growth of Russia, China, India, Brazil, and many other developing countries, comes a lack of growth from Europe and the United States. So those who did not want third world food before are now complaining about inflation in food products. It is a tragedy, they say. They who have sponsored the inefficiency of their agriculture are now complaining that the world lacks in food. And I'm thinking, yeah, right. Guess what? Chinese are not paranoid about food and mouth disease. Neither are they preoccupied with genetically modified food. And you know what? They are more than a billion. But they will put the blame on biodiesel and ethanol too, and I'm thinking, oh my. They are blaming the only real solution for global warming, which guarantees a safer climate to plant and avoid loss of crops. So I consult my economist side, whose only knowledge in economics is supply and demand. If food prices are going up, maybe European farmers won't need protection for their products and will produce efficiently for the first time. Supply? and demand. Perhaps with high prices, developing countries that lack an agricultural structure will be stimulated to produce more for they are no longer receiving the great gift of subsidized products from the first world. Supply and demand. With the need of ethanol, maybe, just maybe, Americans will cut off the communist threat bullshit or anti-communist spite or whatever you want to call it and start importing sugar or ethanol from Cuba, compañero. Supply and demand? With expensive food, maybe there will be less waste and less organic trash. Supply and demand! <laughs> if food prices are going up, farmers will be able to invest more and produce more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know, this is really, really. No one thought of that before. <laughs> Supply and demand. <laughs> Yes, how you're going mod. Are you actually saying that food prices high are actually good? Mm, that is correct. <laughs>